Imagine being a professional basketball player stepping onto that gleaming court, all eyes on you, and then, whoops, your shorts are on backwards. Yes, friends, that's precisely what happened to Jalen Brown in the Celtics preseason opener. A hilarious wardrobe malfunction that had fans in stitches and Brown catching strays from every corner. Brown put his pants on backwards. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen this before. I just saw the Celtic logo in the back, and I'm like, wait a minute here. Okay, maybe it's a new style trend. Who tells me? Uh, somebody <laughs> will. Oh, it doesn't matter. You can make shots like that. You can wear them however you want. Pivoting to a more serious note, Zion Williamson has been turning heads and splitting opinions with his powerful pregame dunk. But some fans are expressing concern, fearing that he'll hurt himself with such forceful moves. Others, however, are pure admirers, thrilled by the spectacle and waiting eagerly for more. It's a divide that's sparking heated debates across the NBA fandom. Meanwhile, Kristaps Porzingis has issued a bold pick-your-poison warning to the rest of the NBA after his preseason debut with the Celtics. It seems Porzingis is feeling confident, ready to take on anyone who dares to challenge him. Confidence is key in this game and Porzingis isn't lacking it. The question is, can he back it up consistently on the court? Only time will tell. In a more unconventional matchup, the Golden State Warriors recently took on San Quentin prison inmates in a game that blurred the lines between professional athletes and those who love the game. It's an unconventional move, sure, but one that shows the universal appeal of basketball. It's a game that can unite people, regardless of their circumstances. On this day, none of that matters. All eyes on the basketball court in the recreation yard, where the home team, San Quentin Warriors, squared off against the Golden State Warriors. It's a win-win. The Warriors is winning. My money's on the San Quentin Doves. I'm sorry, fellas. The visiting team made up of coaches and support staff from a franchise that's won four of the last eight NBA championships. Right. There's an excitement on our end to be here because you know, it's a different experience for everybody. Honestly, really inspiring to see how hard they play, the teamwork they play with. You can tell this didn't happen over. A lot of these guys got a lot more wisdom than I didn't had. They didn't had experiences that I've never had. And they just talking about their perseverance and the things that they think about to keep their minds strong or whatnot. And they give us life. You know what I'm saying? They still make us feel like we we still human. When society pours into a prison to forgive you for what you've done and offer unconditional opportunities and love and just bond with you on a basketball court with income and wealth, but status doesn't mean anything. The only thing that matters is can you play? After four quarters, San Quentin's team defended home court 85 to 80. While the game is now over, the man-to-man -man conversations, the self-reflection, and the joining of these Warriors' families, creating memories that won't soon fade away. Finally, Dylan Brooks has been stealing the show at Rockets practice, not with his basketball skills, but with his dance moves. Looking to bring the same defensive intensity he had in Memphis to his new team in Houston, it looks like Brooks is bringing the dance moves as well. While it's unlikely the Rockets would take the Grizzlies' tunnel walk out routine, they at least have one player who can lead that charge if they ever wanted to do something similar to that. So there you have it, a roundup of the latest, most interesting happenings in the world of NBA. From wardrobe malfunctions to powerful dunks, pick your poison warnings to prison matchups and viral dance moves, it's been a fascinating period in the NBA. Stay tuned for more updates and as always, keep loving the game.